The City Opera House in Traverse City is one of 48 opera houses built in Michigan in the 19th and early 20th centuries. It's now just one of seven open statewide. For today's tough job, I'm giving you a behind the scenes look at who's responsible for keeping that 1892 building looking beautiful for every performance and event. It's part of the experience when going to a performance at the City Opera House. Rows of perfectly lined chairs. Yeah, everybody wants to know how they get so straight. It's an easy answer. Doug Zarnecki, but it's not an easy job. I put him in, then the next event, I take him out. With hundreds of other year-round events like the Traverse City Film Festival and National Writer Series to conferences, weddings, and family reunions. Whatever you want to have here. You name it. Doug sets it up. Uh, this is the, uh, the floor plan that will explain to me what is coming up next and how they want it set up. And every event is a completely different floor plan usually. Yes. I'm not even going to say usually. It always is. Everything's different. Every linen. Not too bad. Well, that's uh, actually very good. Every table. we got to move all of these tables out of here. I'm going to flip this over and take care of the legs down here. Yeah, that works too. And then we were going to carry it into the auditorium. We'll take it up by the stage. And every chair. So I will show you how to do this, and then I will watch you do it. Is set up, cleaned up, and put away by him. See, part of my job is moving these chairs up and down, um, and there is no other easier way to do it. So we could be doing this for hours, and then come back the next day and do put them back. As for Doug's title. The title is, um, well, that's kind of interesting. <laughs> Sometimes it, uh, they refer to me as the, uh, the janitor, <laughs> or sometimes they refer to me as the uh, housekeeper, and we'll see what else they can call me. His name tag says facility technician. Most of it's all just <laughs> a one-man show, yeah. But as you can probably tell, his job is much more than that. Usually I have to go around and pick up drinks and anything on the floor and mop up any spills. One of the other jobs that I have to do, which we could do right now, is I have to take the trash out. I think what I should do is grab the mop and uh, just kind of tidy up here. Yeah, I've got to keep the uh, you know, bathrooms in here cleaned. We also got name new tags to put on the chairs. I uh, help out with the promotions and in the box office. We take the talent, whoever it may be, if they're staying at a hotel, and we will pick them up and then bring them back here. And in between all those jobs, he still spends too many late nights and early mornings to count in this auditorium. That's a big part of this job. I mean, this is what I do a lot. Stacking chairs. I'm very fussy about this, and I'll show you why. She doesn't stack them very good. <laughs> and lining them up down to the inch. Let's look. It's all right. At the end here, it kind of gets a little um, squiggly, but oh, it's pretty good. Making sure everyone who steps foot into the City Opera House feels like the stage was set just for them. I do know that by the end of the day, my feet hurt. For tough jobs. Would you hire Whitney for this job? Would I hire her? Um, yeah, I would. I mean, I, yeah, you, you could do this job. Um, you would probably need some help, though. I'm Whitney Amen. And if you have a unique, tough, or messy job you'd like me to try out, just let me know. Send us an email to toughjobs at 9and10news.com.